Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? My name's Walter and in today's video, I got a little baby mod for you guys. I've come across this on eBay and I thought it'd be a cool addition to add to the car. Just peep the carbon dash though. Honestly, I can't stop staring at all this carbon fiber. I have more on the way. It's just back ordered right now. Keep a lookout for that because I'm definitely going to be adding a lot more carbon fiber inside the cabin. But anyways, back to the topic. I came across these on eBay. What these are, these are puddle lights. So these are the lights that go on the actual door itself. And it's that little ugly light that reflects right there on the floor. Don't mind the broken tile. And they're these right here. Now, for those of you who don't know, you can order different kinds. Um, and there's like multiple companies. Just type in like Dodge Challenger Puddle Lights and you'll see anything from, from the Scat Pack logo, Hellcat logo, SRT, Challenger, Dodge. You know, you don't necessarily have to do the Scat Pack logo. Regardless of which one you do, they're gonna install the same. So just keep that in mind. The only thing that I'd recommend you do if you're gonna buy these puddle lights is you look at the reviews because i think there was one for like the 392 logo i want to say and i know there's like different sellers and all that stuff and some of them do have bad reviews some of them do say like their puddle lights don't work so they're all relatively the same in price so just go with the one that has the best reviews it's gonna run you like around 35 dollars i think if you go to the cheaper ones that are closer to 20 those are the ones that tend to have issues and whatever. It's a super easy install. All you need is a flathead screwdriver. Now to take it off, all you're gonna do is just pop in your flathead. Like that. And I know it's gonna seem scary just trying to force it off, but trust me, that's the way you take it off. Now to actually detach this ugly light. That was hot. To detach the light from the actual wiring, you're gonna press this and that'll release the white clip. I had to get one of my work gloves because this thing is like scorching hot. But hopefully you guys can notice it. Like I said, inside the black casing, you press up against in the middle and you just slide it off as you're pressing inside. And then it should just slide out. And it should just come off like that. No, from some from what I've seen from reviews, some people do say that they come with like a R or L to indicate, you know, one of them's on the driver's side and one of them's on the passenger side. I can't find it. Maybe I'm just blind, but I don't see anything that says like this is, this goes on the right side and this goes on the left side. So I'm assuming that this side would just be the right side and then this side would just be the left side. It could be wrong. We'll see if I install it wrong but just something to look out for. Now to install them, it's gonna be super easy. It's pretty much just the same thing. You're just gonna slide it back on. Let me see if I could do it with one hand. Yeah. I don't even know if it's gonna come out on camera. It's a super sunny day, but don't worry. I'll, um, once I install the other side, I'll show you guys what it looks like at night. But then you just stuff the wiring back inside and then just clip it back in place. Yeah, there's no way in hell you're gonna see it in this type of sun. I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's nighttime. <sighs> All right, so it's the next day. And I don't know if you guys remember when I told you, uh, when I told you guys about how the lights are supposed to have like left and right as to which ones go on which side. <laughs> So yeah, I'm pretty sure I installed it on the wrong side. So I'm gonna fix that, but you guys get the gist of it. Alright, I'm going to 
gonna take you guys back to when I filmed the first part of the video. She's the sun face, it's really bright outside. But now as you guys saw, that was obviously a relatively fast mod. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I wanted to do as my next mod. So I went ahead and got myself these Abok lowering springs. It actually showed up in the mail like this. As you guys can see, <laughs> it's open, you know. Hell yeah. So, as you guys can see, this is the Pro Kit. So, if I'm not mistaken, they should drop the front by at least an inch. I want to say maybe a little bit more. And then in the rear, it should be an inch and a quarter. So, I'm actually going to be installing these myself. I thought about going to a shop, but I thought it'd be fun just to do it myself. So, keep a lookout for this video. It should be coming up. I'll probably be installing these this weekend, so keep a lookout for that. Now, like I was mentioning, these springs should be dropping the car by an inch in the front. So as you guys can see, I can pretty much fit three fingers. So I can fit three fingers in the front. <laughs> and I can pretty much fit four fingers in the rear. So I know, now it's not gonna slam the car, it's not gonna make it too low but I feel like it'll definitely lower it enough to where it's kind of acceptable. I thought about maybe getting coilovers just so I could lower it even more, but I feel like for now, I'm just gonna do lowering springs. Maybe in the future, I'll get some coilovers. It's not charger and coilovers, and it looked pretty mean with it super slam, so I don't know. That might be something I do in the future. So yeah, stay tuned for those. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.